Okay, guys, not gonna lie, Gig is very interesting, okay? Um, this is the Mythic Warrior. It's gonna be a Dark Dragon, okay? And when I made the video about him, I was like, dude, you know, this guy's gonna require so much rage, and he doesn't have a way to gain rage. Well, PG's like, ha, JK, uh, we're just gonna make all the spells zero rage. Besides, of course, the evil eye. So let, let's talk about this dragon, okay? So, Cosmic Gaze. Active, white, zero rage. Fires a projectile at an automatically chosen tower. This projectile deals 75% of dragons' modified HP as damage. Pretty much, that's a one-shot. Like, generally speaking, that's gonna one-shot a tower, right? Dragon heals for 15% of its modified HP on cast. It has a five-second cooldown. Evil Eye, active, white, 0 0.4 rage per second. Evil Eye is a toggle spell that can be toggled on and off throughout the battle. While toggled on, the dragon has 150% increased breath damage and gains a shield that reduces all incoming damage by 50%. While activated, the spell drains 0.5 rage per second. Roar from behind. Um, I, I, I could make a meme from that. Anyways, uh, damage is nearby towers for 8% of dragon's modified HP and reduces the effective towers out going damage by 40% for the rest of the battle. It has an 8 second cooldown. And then you have Elemental Resist. So, this is a very interesting dragon, okay? So if I was going to use this dragon, right, just thinking out loud, what I would do is I would obviously use Cosmic Gaze first. That would kill the Red Mage. I'm assuming it's going to target Red Mage first because just because of the skill set, that's what PG should do. Um, and I'm assuming they will. Use it on the Red Mage. That may or may not get a shot off. So let's say you're down to like one rage because if two mages hit you, there's a blue mage, red mage on an island. Both of them hit you. You're down to one rage, assuming they have the research done. Um, you use roar from behind, which reduces the outgoing damage by 40% for the rest of the battle on all those towers. With elemental resist, this guy, the strategy behind this guy is literally just tanking. Just tanking until you're able to use cosmic gaze enough times to kill towers. And then, like, using the roar from behind to damage maybe, like, one or two towers. And then, you know, try and get it down before people can repair. Not to mention, whenever, you know, the red mage is killed and, let's say, defenders run out of super shots and they can't use the, um, the blue mage, assu again, assuming that the blue mage is up, they can't use the super shot on that to drain more rage. Once your rage is, like, you know, going up again, right, after it's immediately, you know, taken away... Um, you can use Evil Eye, which will increase the breath damage, which allows you to kill towers quicker. Interesting. This dragon is not a terrible dragon. Um, you know, as far as, like, viability goes, um, hmm. Like, again, so really the, the strategy behind this guy is just tanking. With that elemental resist and the reduction of outgoing damage by 40%, I mean, that's ridiculous. Like, that's nuts. Um, and the fact that both of those spells are zero rage, you can just keep using them. Like, even if you have zero rage, even if you're rage trained, like, that's not terrible. Um, you know, this guy definitely require a ton of HP. Like, if I was going to ruin this guy... Um, you know, I'd put the mythic glyph and then the legendary glyph and then just freaking um, put HP on him because the uh, glyphs or the rooting glyph increases the cosmic gaze healing. So if you're able to heal every five seconds by, let's say, you know, 25% of your HP on a warrior, that is quite significant because he also has an element to resist plus that roar from behind. So this guy is going to be a ridiculous tank from what I can tell, not to mention the 50% reduction in all uncommon incoming damage by the evil eye shield that is on top of the element resist and the roar from behind like dude that is nuts he's definitely going to be able to tank damage for sure i mean that's that's pretty crazy um not to mention guys like just look at this dude he looks freaking beast man um so let's let's read their intent, okay? Gig is a unique warrior in the dragon's functions completely without rage, instead of balancing its tanking nature against its cooldowns. So Gig's main offensive spell is Cosmic Gaze. When cast, Gig restores some health and fires a bolt of cosmic energy that heavily damages a pre-prioritized tower, focusing first on the Red Mage and Storm Towers to complement easy 
Mage, Tower Destruction. Get cast War from behind. This spell damages all nearby towers and causes them to permanently deal less damage. So he still generates rage over time, which requires an outlet uh, for this universal resource. Enter Eternal Eye. When toggled on, Evil Eye drains Gig's rage over time in exchange for increased breath damage and damage resistance. So he has no way to dodge, as I said, the uh, rage draining tuber shots, so this dragon will often be running with only a few bars of rage. So, you can act, so here's, and here's part of the thing, like, if you're, if you have, you know, let's say, a Electroflak that's about to super shot, you can use this Evil Eye, um, in order to dodge the damage from the, um, the damage from the Electroflak, right? And also, actually, you know what, thinking about it, what you could also do is use Evil Eye the second that you turn, because all the super shots are going to go off. So the, you know, the Fire Flak, the Dark Flak, the Electro Flak, you know, the Ice Flak, whatever flaks there are, all those super shots are going to turn, are going to be used the second you turn that island. So if you're using Evil Eye, that will reduce the damage initially by 50%, and also you're going to be drained, you're, you know, you're going to have your rage drained anyways. So that's actually really, really smart. Like, this isn't a terrible dragon. Um, you know, at first I was like, eh, you know, I don't know, but I don't think he's going to be bad, right? I don't think he's going to be terrible. I think he'll have his uses, but I don't know. Um, it definitely won't be a terrible dragon. I think if you're like a lower level or something, you know, you might find him to be even more useful than maybe higher levels because at higher levels you have that bonus HP, um, which can definitely hurt because especially if like you have, you know, level 90 towers. I mean, dude, those aren't going to freaking die. Um, so again, I think lower levels, you're going to find this guy to be a lot more effective at, you know, at higher levels, maybe not so much. Maybe the hunter is the better option. But again, I will be talking about the hunter in a separate video in a couple of minutes from now. So 